Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey everyone, welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. This is episode 31 and my name is Latif Mikado. Everything is going well tonight. Hopefully you guys are having a a good evening. It's a good Friday. Um, Good Friday night. Uh, Not good Friday, good Friday, but you know, the night is good and it's Friday. So... uh, Taking it easy today, we have uh, maybe another two weeks off, and then we're back on the road. First stop, Fresno, California for the Freestyle Explosion. So anybody who's going to be out there, I, I do hope to see you guys. Other than that, everything else is is swell. Um, today I tuned in, it kind of caught me unexpected. I knew they were going to do it. Um, uh, it was a, it's a new podcast series. I, I kind of hope they, they keep it going. It's called um, Hot Topics, Freestyle Hot Topics. And uh, it looks like it's home. It's being monitored by, uh, moderated by uh, Frankie Cutlass because he's calling um, the other guy's host. So um, it's hosted. He's saying it's hosted by K7, TKA, um, uh, Cynthia, and George Lamont. So... Um, they said they were gonna start in a couple weeks, and then I actually get on Facebook and I see it pop up in the feed. So I caught the tail end of it, but I was able to go back and check it out from the beginning. And I think I think it's a great uh, concept. I mean, you got three legendary artists who know a lot. I mean, really, I mean they know a lot, and um, and they 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 know so many different aspects as a combination uh, about the genre that they can really. Uh, give some really valuable information, and I, I really hope they keep it going. Um, and it goes for you know anyone else who might have some ideas. I, I mentioned before, George Lamont is also doing the talk, where he does stuff on his uh, on videos. Um, so he'll do interviews. I know he did Salvatello and he did Frankie Cutlass, and I think I saw Carlos Barrios, Lisa Lisa, Tony Moran. So he did a few. Um, I think I only quite a couple of them only because of the timings I could go back and binge but I haven't done that yet um and then Judy Judy has her beautiful life which is great I I mean you guys got to understand how I look at this I think it's a it's a wonderful thing there are people and I I don't I don't get it well I kind of do get it and I don't get it um people get a little concerned and I don't know man is it a Latino thing because sometimes man within the Latino ranks man like there's jealousy, you know, even jealousy among people who you believe are, are your friends or even your family is like this underlying, like, I wish you well as long as you don't do better than me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I've seen this happen within the genre, and I've heard that it actually goes on also in the Latin field, in salsa. Um, I'm not too familiar with the reggaeton artists or the machata. I don't follow them. I don't, I, you know, I know them, these, some of those acts only by bookings, but, um, I can speak on the freestyle and, um, though nobody would probably admit it, um, I could feel it sometimes, you know, I can I really could feel it. It's like, it's hard for people to wish you well. It's hard for people to give you a compliment. Um, it's hard for people to show any kind of support. Sometimes, you know, I think I mentioned this before, the support that I would get for my books is like, yeah, I always wanted to write a book. Okay, well, (laughs) that would be in replace of, wow, congratulations. What a huge milestone. What a a huge feat, (laughs) you know? Um, Instead, it's more like I always wanted to do that, you know? Or, you know, and I I tell people all the time, I've had, I got to say, at least seven or eight, uh, people who have 
pretty much told me the same thing. A few were pretty cool about, you know, they gave me some props and they even did reviews. They did uh, reviews on, uh, like, with my first book. So if you go to Amazon.com and just type in my name and then look at, type in uh, Latif Mercado in the search of Amazon.com and then look at the books and check out my first book um, called Freestyle for Life and there's reviews. Click on the little review. You can read all the reviews. Some pretty great reviews. Some um, pretty reputable people uh, that I have a lot of respect for. Um... You know, and uh, and that was good. And when I did that, and I started getting that kind of love, um, I, 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 it felt good. I, I started to, I started to get hopeful, hopeful that, you know, maybe this is the platform. Maybe this is what we needed to do. You know, we we, a lot of us running clicks. I know. I you know, and, and I don't think it's it's done on a mean like people are not creating clicks to go up against other clicks. I think it's just. You know, we're from this area, or we usually do this market, and it's usually you, you go, you pass, uh, you kind of uh, run run across the same people over and over in different cities. So I could go to San Antonio, Texas, and there's going to be a certain certain artist that I'm going to run, I'm going to run over, I'm going to uh, cross paths with there. <clears throat> if I do a bigger show like a Freestyle Explosion and we're in San Antonio, it'll be a whole different uh, lineup because they're not really concerned too much about the market itself, but rather the content, you know? Whereas when we do a club, they're more concerned about the market, like what artists are gonna go do there. See, Freestyle Explosion, it's all about the production. They do such a great production, they make sure they got Stevie and Lisa closing as far as they're concerned, that that's gonna pull. Everybody else is pretty much a fill-in. Even though they do a great job, they fill in pretty well, you know? Um, so I gotta give uh, give props to that, but, um. You know, I, I, you know, every time I get to a, a, a place where I see my peers um, creating new things, creating new ideas, um, creating, you know, I don't want to go and buy everybody's t-shirt. That's not what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm not, I don't want to buy everybody's CD. I don't want to do that shit. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't even have to like it. I don't have to like any of it. But I, I, I do want to appreciate what they're trying to do. And I, I do want to at least support it in words if I could, or if there's something that I can say, or if it's, there's something I can help them with in any way. I mean, I'm here. Um, it seems like people have a hard time uh, coming to me, even asking for help, knowing that I've done several things. They, you know, even if it's advice, it's almost like by asking me advice, I'm getting too. They're giving me too many props, you know. Um, they they put me on a level. No, man, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. I'm always asking advice. You know, nowadays, especially with social media, a lot of men, my mentors are younger than me. Some some of them in their teens uh, because they know things that I don't know. So I don't have a problem being a student. You have you can't be a good teacher unless you're a good student. And I'm like that with a lot of fans also. There's fans that are into things that I find incredibly fascinating. I don't have a problem, you know, sitting down and being a student, you know, um, I like the fact, and I really wish that, you know, more artists can can step to the plate and create new avenues for all of us, and and create avenues, not afraid that somebody's going to take your idea and run with it. No, if anything, I think people should try to take your ideas and run with it, but not to be malicious, just because you inspired them, you inspired them to do the same thing. It's just like. As an artist, you know, you know, a lot of our our A-list artists, a lot of our iconic artists, you know, we're talking about, you know, the George Lamonts, the TKs, the the cover girls, well, we'll, we'll say solos, like the, the Angels, the Susies, the Georges, and so on. Um, a lot of other artists got into the business because of them. They, you got to understand that. So, you know, you inspired people to do the same thing. You you influenced people to do the same thing. You, your actions and the way you, it motivated people. It's just like anything. You know, people go see a concert. Next thing you know, they want to be a singer too. People see a great movie. And next thing you know, they want to do it. They want to be actors. They, they, somebody sees a, a car racing movie. Next thing they, you know, they want to, you know, race cars. How many guys remember... Uh, going to the Bruce Lee flicks back in the days and you went with all your boys but what did you do when you came out of the movies huh you fought karate all the way home (laughs) 
you know, you're not going to tell me anybody who was born, you know, raised in New York pretty much in the 70s cannot tell me that they didn't come out of the fucking movie theater doing flying kicks at their boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, we, you know, these are what the arts do. The arts inspire us. You know, we look at a painting. A painting should take you someplace. You read a book. It should make you close the book and, and kind of, you know, think about it. You know, kind of, you know, when you leave, when you watch a great movie, you should be able to come out. You know, movies are not just to entertain, they're to educate and to inspire and, and to sometimes to teach us how to be fearless or to teach us to be better than than who we are and to give us hope. That's what movies do. Think about it. So you see a movie, um, uh, man, I mean, you could do any more. Let's do Rocky, you know? You do a movie like Rocky, you know, it's it's hope. Here, here's someone who basically, you know, had nearly no hope, you know, everything was in the dumps for him, you know, and, and he was able to, you know, come out of that situation and be a champ. And, you know, I mean, you could go on, um, you could go on and on with this, you know, uh, so, so that's what the arts do. So when someone wants to follow something that you're doing, don't get upset over it. Don't, don't, don't get jealous or don't get and we are uh, not what I say overprotective or what defensive. I'm trying to think of the right word. Like, don't block people from from the inspiration that you you gave. You gave a, an incredible gift. Don't now block it. You know, it's like you're giving someone a gift, but you're not letting them open it. <laughs> Let them open the gift. You know, if I can write a book and my book can inspire someone to write a book. Yeah, I don't want to sit there and write it for them, but man, if I could tell you something to help you, why not? Why not? Your, your one book is not going to hurt my books. It's, it's not going to hurt. The fans are not going to suddenly stop reading mine because you wrote yours. No. If anything, they're going to read yours, finish it, and jump over and read mine. And they're going to finish that one, jump over and read the next one. That's how it is. Same thing with music. If you guys are talented and you, you have these different skills, you know, leave, the, leave the competition to the side. I mean, really, you got to understand what the arts are. The arts are like a, a you know, it's like a, a basket full of fruit. Everybody grabs the fruit that they like. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so when I see these, when I see people, you know, stepping to the plate and doing, doing all, I've been talking about this for the longest and I think I'm going to talk about it all the time. And, you know, I can understand, you know, I can understand. I, I felt I've had those insecurities in the past. But the more I thought about it and the more I, you know, I I, I try to, um, it's like self-awareness, you know, understanding you, yourself, understanding your own limitations, understanding why you do things. People, you know, ask me, you know, why do I do certain things and my goal, I think, in life, more than anything, my goal in life is to create something that might change or help someone's life in some way. You understand? I know it's weird because I'm trying to articulate it, and I can't. Um, if I... if if I do a great movie, I don't want a great movie to make me millions of dollars. I want a movie that will make you cry and a movie that you would think about when you leave and you might think it might be in your head, you know, forever. You'll always remember that. Think about any great movie, inspiring movies. You, you, even if you saw them when you were a kid, there's certain key parts, there's certain, you know, parts of that movie that you'll never forget. Same thing with books. What happens when you... And, and then what happens with movies as well as books is when it inspires you and when it moves you, the first thing you want to do is tell somebody else about it. And it's usually someone that you care for. You know, if I, if I watch a movie that really moves me, if it makes me think about life in a, in a unique way, you know what I want? I want my wife to see that movie. 
because I love her and I want her to feel the, that good feeling that I just felt. I want my kids to see this movie because I want them to feel that same thing that I felt also. That's what art does. You know? So, you know, so that's my biggest thing. I'm doing these podcasts. I, I wish these podcasts, I hope these podcasts could somehow change somebody's life. But but if they don't, I, they're going to change mine. They're going to change mine. Because I stepped to these podcasts, as I mentioned before, no script, no bullet points. In fact, my head is like beyond empty when I step to these. Even if I say, well, maybe let me let me come up with maybe a couple things to talk about. I can do that when I'm driving. I can do that when I'm in another room. I can have all these different ideas I might want to talk to you guys about. But the minute I sit here in front of this microphone, I'm blank. I'm blank. And I try to sit there and I try to think, well, you know, maybe maybe I can talk about it. No. And you know what I do? I just hit record. I just hit record. That's why a lot of times you hear I sound a little hesitant in the beginning because I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But I pray on it and I pray that, you know, I can I can talk about something that moves you. That's, that's all I ask. You know, if I can say something, a word. And I do. I get, I've, I've, I read pretty much all your messages Um when you guys, I know, I know a lot of times it's personal, so I get the, they come in as DMs, and that's cool. I, I ask you guys to do comments, sometimes you don't do comments. Uh, now on the Facebook page, you can do the comments there, that's beautiful. But sometimes you want it to be personal, I understand, I understand. Because, you know, we all have those shortcomings, and sometimes I can show you where those shortcomings are because I experienced them myself. So, you know, but, you know, but the, but the, the whole point that I'm trying to get here is... I don't want people to be scared or insecure about sharing ideas. Understand this. We all have ideas. We can all sit down and come up with 100 ideas, you know, in a day. So ideas are a dime a dozen. But the ideas that are actually put into action, those are the ones that have value. Not the ideas themselves. So never worry about sharing ideas never worry about don't don't worry about those things you know as soon as I started this podcast I told people exactly what I was doing anybody could have went and done it and I wish they would have doesn't mean that so I'm going to talk about something totally different I'm going to sound different the rhythm of my voice is going to be different my intro is going to be different you know uh, I have a little Santana saying the freestyle prayer at the end <laughs> you know so it's going to be different. And then when you finish listening to mine, you can go over to Judy's. And then from there, you can go over to George's. And then from there, you can go over to Frankie's. And you know what? You got all this information from the freestyle genre, from people who are, are active in this market. And that's beautiful for all of us. I mean, that think about what that does for us, what it does for this community, you know? So, you know, please, you know, when you guys get a chance, you know, um, Depending on where you where you're hearing this uh, podcast, if you're hearing it on social media, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, please please um share it, and like it. If you can leave me a comment, tell me your thoughts. I mean, these things are great. They let me know I'm on the right path. If you still feel that you don't you don't feel like I understand, but I wish you would. <laughs> but um, especially share. You know, if if from um, you know right now we're at episode. 31. That means that's 31 podcasts that I've created since the beginning of the year. If there's one or two that you think um, can help someone in any way or you just want them to hear, share it with them. Man, I would love that. I see when it's shared. I see who shares it. So, you know, share it with them. But um, if if you're a part of this genre, whether you're an artist or a producer or even a background dancer or even a fan, I mean, you know, let's, let's continue to you know, come up with some more ideas, you know, there's, there's still so many things that, you know, that we can create, you know, that, you know, and, and, and just really expand the genre. Let's, let's show people that, you know, hip hop is not the only one They're out there. They're killing it, man. They're doing, they got stand up comedians and they got clothing and they got clones and they got, you know, why? 
Why can't we do that? And they're all rich. They're all rich. So if it's a money thing, well, listen, man, we have the perfect platform. We just have to build on it, you know? I dare people to give me a call. I dare artists to give me a call. I dare artists to give me a call and say, hey, man, you know, I have this idea. I don't need a piece. I don't want any of your stuff. But I love to be involved in, you know, some aspect of it. Maybe even if it's just sitting back watching it, watching you, watching it develop into something huge. That's wonderful, man. That's great. You're not going to hurt me. You're going to help me. You're going to help me because you could open up the genre to a whole new audience just by creating that one little thing. So it's a, it's a, it's a win-win situation. There's nothing to be insecure or to be jealous about. You know, I love the freestyle genre. I, 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 you know, so many aspects about it, you know. And very rarely you hear me even talk about the music or the artist per se. Because it's, it's, a, little, it's a little bigger than that for me. The, the, the artist and the music is, is those are the, the benefits of it. That's the, the icing. But it's something a lot deeper. I want the cake. The actual cake. What really makes this genre what it is, is the people. Not just the artists, I'm talking about the people. The people who are involved. Think about it. Think about the producers. Think about the labels. Think about the writers. You know, think about the promoters. That's the cake. These are, you know, and, and the fans. This is the community. This, these are, this is what makes us what we are. It's not just the artists and the fans, man. It really isn't. So I just wish people would kind of like, I tend to get a little deep because I, I, I think I, I kind of dive deep into this, you know. So this is, this is what I'm seeing when I think about this. And I just want to, you know, I just want to, you know, have an open invitation to anyone who would like to just chit chat, man, on this. You know, this is called building. It's called building. We don't need to. This podcast doesn't have to be about rumors or gossip. This podcast should be about building. I build all the time. And I would love to see what you guys are building and maybe be a part of it. So anyway. That's it for tonight. I appreciate you guys. Again, it's Friday night. If you're out, be safe. If you're going out tomorrow night, be safe. Don't drink and drive. And until tomorrow, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.